just explain with that. There's nothing. This is just a copper tube. Okay, does copper attract magnets? Oh, you're right. It doesn't. Copper doesn't attract magnets. Okay, and this is a hollow tube. No magic inside. There's no devil, Maxwell's devil, uh, devil inside. Okay, now hold this. Okay, hold it. And you have to hold the bottom. My magnet is very precious. If this falls, uh, then you go. Okay, it will break. Uh, I want you to first catch it outside the copper tube. This is the copper tube. I'm not going to send it to the copper tube. I'm just asking money to just catch my magnet. See how much time money takes. Money, ready? How much time? Ah, uh, a split second. This will be in the point one second. Let's try again. Hold the back. Okay? Now, let me do this. Money, get ready. Okay, I'm going to drop this here. Money, ready? If it hits you hard, it don't ring you. Okay? Okay, if it accelerates, don't ring me. Okay? Ready, guys? All watching? Okay. Shit! What, what happened? Do you see? Wait, one more time. One more time. Oh, very powerful, man. What's it doing inside, man? Wait. Didn't it take longer than it fell? Why did it take so much time? Path of falling down is different. Do you think path of falling down is anywhere, anything else other than straight? Shriya. It's straight path. How did you say? Louder. Magnetic field changing. But this is what? Magnetic. This is copper. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, mean, you, I, I, I just tried to confuse you. Please, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's Then what is happening? Huh? Say it louder, louder. Confidence. Confidence should not come down exponentially. Next. Yes, you're right. My little thing is changing. Next. Changing magnetic field. Electricity. Electricity. Thanks to Faraday. Okay, then what else? If the changing magnetic field produces electricity in this copper, why did it slow it down? Why did it slow down? It's in neutral? What is the neutral of this direction? What is the news? Electric field is induced. Electric field is induced in the opposite direction. No. I'm, 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 I'm very happy. The thing is, it will come. Okay, the answer is very correct. Uh, this is Lenz's law. One word. Lenz's law. Faraday's law is a Lenz's law. You know, there was a girl in my in the class that asked a very beautiful question. Even without I did this, it uh, took this to me and said, Sir, when I'm doing this this way, the needle is fluctuating one way. When I am removing the magnet, the needle is fluctuating the other way. Then it said, then she asked a very innocent question. And actually that is why kids also should be encouraged to ask questions. She asked, Sir, how do we know which way to go? Left or right? I said, man, you asked a very wonderful question. How does it work? The question is this. When this was going through this, yes, magnetic field is changing. This is a very powerful magnet, okay? When the magnetic field was changing, it was inducing currents through the copper. Yes, it was. Now, induced currents through copper will have their own magnetic fields. Now, that magnetic field can be accelerating the magnet also, or even decelerating the magnet also. But in nature, this is like another form of inertia here. Lenz's law says the field is induced in such a way, now the English is complicated, so as to oppose the change that produced it. This is the change that produced it. That is the induction. So the induction produces another magnetic field which opposes the change that produced it. That means it opposes this. In simple terms. Right? So, and, 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 huh? Yeah, if it had it, had it accelerated it, it would have violated your law of conservation of energy also. And it would have been accelerating it, and where is the energy coming from? You simply dropped it, and not only potential energy, you just get gain. But what else is happening? It accelerated more than what? To the speed of light? If it's a long tube? Where is the energy coming from? No, it's not. It is opposing the change. 
that produced it. This is a change that was producing it. It opposed it. And that's the reason it took so much time. It just fell, it fell, it fell like this, but it was never coming out. It took its own sweet time to opposite, 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 opposite. Finally, it came down to the lower speed. Okay, thank you so much. So, get back. So, I'm almost close to the end of the talk, end of my lecture, but I think I will ask you uh, to. Now, these are fun things. Now, you have to remember what I told you all throughout, okay? I will show you something very nice. And this film comes later. I think before that, I want to show you the dirty thing I used to do. I did, I did, and I could not do as a kid. I want all of you to understand and write down. Now, you know electricity, you know why it is, uh, you were much before than, than uh, when I came. I'm not claiming anything here. So, all of us know that a coin placed in the magnetic field where the current passes gets a kick and turns, right? You know the first step, that's what it does. Now, let's put all this together and make a motor. Why am I telling you to make a motor? Because when I tried making a motor when I was in my 7th grade, 8th grade, so excited, I always learned about coil, you put a battery, just uh, right to a coil, uh, it will just pick it up. But the sad news is when I was in my 6th, 7th grade and I tried making a motor, it never turned. Got stuck. Why did it get stuck? Because obviously we, we, we are not perfect uh, makers, right? And you see, I can't make high precision stuff like that and the other high precision stuff that I'm going to show you. I must have made some mistakes. What are the mistakes? Probably, you know, this coil is here freely floating, right? I didn't know how to suspend the coil. I had to hold the coil, I had to let the coil go because it has to turn. First mistake I made. I just somehow held the coil in a very clumsy way. The coil, I put it around and then it stand and then that I was going like this, ah, some clumsy thing I did. It never turned. Magnet. I stole magnets from a uh, speaker. There was a speaker and magnets for that. I stole it and I said, well, I can put a magnet right below the coil. Battery. I must have taken some bad battery that must have been blown down a lot. And it did turn. Never turn. It never turned for the next, I don't know how many years. It never turned for, till my kid was born. It never turned till my kid was about to read the same chapter from, uh, oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Read the same chapter and kid asked me, how was the motor turn? I said, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do I'm a big guy now. I'm going to degree, I'm going to PhD. I mean, I've got a good job. Let the motor turn now. I tried the motor, didn't turn. Now I knew more, right? I can buy a lot of good things. In my days, I, I could never buy those things, right? Then I said, it, I have to think why it's not turning. Now you have to think why it turns. So take a minute, think about what makes the motor turn, draw the diagram, draw the forces on it, and tell me in your own language whether you can explain whether the motor turns, how the motor turns. Just I will ask you to spend only two minutes. Okay? Later, we'll discuss in another two minutes what is the key thing in this. Or if you can go and buy it for 50 rupees, you can buy a motor outside. It's a very nicely winded motor. And you can use it for anything and you probably use it for your, I don't know, stepper motors also. Okay? High position motors. But you still have to understand why the motor turns. Okay? And let me just, uh, as you think, let me just try to make it work. Okay, if it doesn't turn, then not going to get This is not a good thing. I want to just make sure that uh, this turns in the meantime. But I want also you to observe what hurdles it faces before it turns. Because of the imperfections. There are so many imperfections here. This is not the ideal circular coil or ideal rectangular coil. This is not the ideal support. It may have frictions. This is not the ideal magnetic field because it's maybe non-homogeneous. Okay? But let's hope we got over all the imperfections and ultimately it will work. Okay? But you see the struggle, how it works. I wanted to just project this there, but I think I'll, I'll just give up on that. Can you all see? Anybody who is far away? I mean, now you need to come close to see the struggle. You will see it done, but you will, you will, you will understand what struggle it goes through. Okay, and just spend two minutes thinking, and the next two minutes we'll see this one. Okay? Do that. And write it down. At the end of this, I want your sheets with your name or without your name. Just with your name or without your name. If you're very, I mean, bored, you want to be open enough, you will write your name. You want to be, if you're shy, don't write your name. But I want you to just give me the sheet at the end of the class. Okay? End of this. So, uh, so God bless me on this. Uh, Okay, it started doing this, okay.
looks like a lucky day, you know, it's doing a lot of things. It's not turning yet. Can you see, it's not turning yet. It's just going back and forth. Can you see that? Sorry? Ah, can you see, it's, it's not turning yet. Did I get a bad battery? Did I get the bad coin? Or do I need to just stop it? Okay. It's a huge, a huge 
should have done more. So if I can show you that, I think again this will distract. I showed you once a couple of things later, right? Now I will show you the video that I took when I went to the Nehru camp to plant that in the backlog, and I was very amused to see this. Uh, hopefully you can see this. Okay. Uh, let me go to the videos. No, this is okay. You can see this later. This is well done. I want to show you.